Hello and welcome back to another episode of the DIYGuy.net. Today we're going to show you how to replace your outdoor faucet, also known as a silcock. Uh, this one's not a frost-free valve, so we're going to update it to a frost-free valve while we're replacing it. So as you can see from in here, it's not a frost-free valve. What this means is the copper pipe goes straight outside and that's where the water stops at that valve. So it can freeze in the winter. So every winter he has to come in, shut this valve off, open the outside and let it drain out so it doesn't freeze. So we're gonna replace it with the frost-free valve. So we're gonna first start by following the pipe up the wall here and finding the next valve and shutting it off and then cutting that part out. So we unpackage our new valve. This one's a quarter turn model, not the full turn like the older ones. This is a four inch valve. Now you measure that is the back spacing right here. What touches the house to where the copper and the brass meet from here to here. So it's a four inch valve. Uh, they do make them in six, eight, 12 and so on. So you wanna measure your valve before you take it apart. You also notice this gray piece here, which comes with the valve. You also notice that it's tapered. So what that does is click right here onto the valve. When it's installed in the house, it'll actually tip the valve to drain so it doesn't freeze. So if you already have a frost-free valve installed, you may want to see whether they use the threads or actually solder it right inside. You can take the half-inch pipe and solder it right in the inside, or you can get one of these adapters, half-inch by half-inch thread, and just thread it on. So if yours is already there, you may want to see if they use the threads. You can just unthread yours, put some new Teflon tape on it, thread in the new valve, and you're all set. Uh, with this installation, since it's the side of the house and they don't use it, we're just going to sweat this one in. But for the back of the house where they have the garden, We'll go ahead and use that adapter, that way in case they leave the hose on, we can easily unthread the old one and thread a new one in to replace it next time. So we finished installing our frost-free valve outside with our stainless screws and our drill. This is what it looks like in the inside. We cut this back where we had no solder so we can get a nice clean joint on that. Uh, we're going to grab our 90s, our ball valve, and a little bit of pipe. Uh, lay out the new configuration and figure out how it's going to go. So we have everything dry fitted, everything ready to go. We're going to go ahead and take it apart, use our plumber's mesh or half inch wire brush, clean all the fittings, pipe, ball valve, silcock valve, all that to make sure they're clean. Um, then we'll put some flux or soldering paste on it and then reassemble it so we can solder it. Uh, a couple key points on soldering is you wanna make sure your pipe is nice and clean. You wanna make sure you use enough flux or soldering paste. Uh, you also wanna make sure there's no water in the pipe as it'll turn to steam, make it hard to solder and pop the joints apart. You also wanna make sure when you're soldering a valve that they're open, so we have our ball valve open, and we also have the silcock on the outside of the house, so our frost-free valve open. So now that we have everything fluxed and put back together, we'll get our solder ready. You just want to bend it about an inch from the end, unroll a couple rolls, that way you can hold it to where you need it, but your hand is still far enough away so you don't burn yourself when putting heat to it and melting the solder. Uh, we're also soldering next to two by fours, so they do sell these soldering blankets, which you can put on the wall here so you don't burn through and burn into the insulation or the wood. I'm just going to use a uh, cookie pan, which is actually like double layered so the heat won't transfer through. If you've never soldered before, we'll be putting a video up soon, or if not already up, about how to solder. But you want to heat the bottom here and place your solder at the top of the joint. That way it'll dripple in and suck into the joint. Um, it'll be much easier in the other video where it's just a close-up of soldering. But uh, now that we have it ready to go and our cookie pan is in there to protect the wood, we'll go ahead and solder. So once you're done soldering all your joints, you want to make sure your valve still moves. You also want to take a cold, damp rag, wipe down all the joints to remove the flux. That way it won't corrode the pipe fast. Now that we have the pipe wiped down, we'll go ahead and shut this valve. We'll go ahead and turn the valve on, supplying water to it. We'll let it fill to this side of the valve, check it for any leaks. Alright, now that we have no leaks on this side of the valve, we'll go ahead and go outside and shut the silcock or outdoor faucet off and then we'll turn this ball valve on and then check our connections here to make sure there are no leaks. Alright now that we have the outdoor faucet or silcock shut off we'll go back inside turn this valve on. We'll let the water fill from here to here and make sure that this joint has no water dripping which it doesn't so we're good. 
We'll go outside and test the faucet to make sure it functions properly. Sorry for how dark the video is, but it's uh, getting darker earlier now. So we'll give it a test. We got water, we got pretty good flow. When we shut it off, it gives itself a couple drips and then stops dripping. So that's it, you just replaced your silcock or outdoor faucet in your house. Thanks for watching another episode of the DIYGuide.net. If you just finished building you the subscribe button, click that to get our latest DIY fixes delivered right to you. If you just finished building you the what's next button, you can click that and we'll help you figure out what you want to fix next. You can also click the link in the description which takes you to our website for a full write up.